Dah sikit dah. F*** What's up guys, boy Benny. The F around find out circle of life is happening to the elites everywhere you look and it is glorious. Ladies and gentlemen, they are dropping like flies and a fly caught in the fly trap right now is Diddy. Rapper Diddy is having a bad one. Rapper Diddy got his multiple homes raided by the feds yesterday in a massive sex trafficking operation. And mysteriously, as those raids were going on by air, land and sea, they literally drove up boats to his Miami house. They surrounded his L.A. mansion with helicopters and then burst in the doors with tactical teams and arrested people, dragged them out in chains. A mysterious thing happened. Diddy's jet departed from the Van Nuys Airport in L.A. and landed in Antigua in the Bahamas or the Caribbean here. What is this about? Was Diddy on this jet? Now, we speculated he was. You would have assumed so, right? It's a very expensive plane. He has a bunch of videos of himself on this plane. He loves this plane. But what we found out is that Diddy himself was actually trapped in Miami, detained at the airport. We can see now that this is confirmed footage of Diddy wandering around the airport after being detained by federal agents. First video of Diddy after his homes were raided on Monday was caught pacing around a Miami private airport. I have now heard from multiple sources that Diddy was detained in Miami. Detained does not mean arrested and charged. I know other news organizations are trying to chase this down as well, but it's simply not uh, worth stating the fact that it's confirmed. So Diddy was not on the private jet, ladies and gentlemen, not on the private jet. After his homes were raided. So what the hell was this private jet doing? Were they worried he was going to raid the jet? What's on the jet? So here's what we know so far. That the homes were raided. That multiple bags of evidence, look at this, laptops, look at that. Look at all these laptops, computer devices being taken, were taken from the house. And that federal agents came up to this house uh, in Miami uh, via boat, surrounded it, arrested people in the home, detained them, put them in cuffs, right? Look at this. Some are saying that this is uh, Diddy's son and stormed the home. Right? There's a G-Wagon outside, federal agents storming the house, collecting evidence. So many are saying that potentially this is a opportunity for the feds to cover up evidence of a much larger sex trafficking ring. Uh, Diddy's been accused of gang raping a 17-year-old girl, fourth sexual assault claim, bad news. Obviously, uh, the homes were raided in dramatic fashion on TV. It looked like an NCIS episode. It was like a Law & Order episode. Candace Owens saying that the feds are raiding his house. They already knew what he was up to. They're going to make him the fall guy so they can protect the people at the top of the ring, says Candace. Candace obviously knows a bunch of rappers. Candace is, knows a bunch of celebrities. I, I went to a premiere of Candace's documentary and Ray J was there. Kanye was there. Kid Rock was there. The Aldeans were there. Dude, if you should listen to somebody on this, it should be it should be Candace Owens. She's friends with a lot of these people. They're raiding his home to hide the evidence, not to find it. That's how this works. Uh-oh, ladies and gentlemen. Well, what are the neighbors saying? Because this is some crazy stuff. Because apparently, you know, so Diddy wasn't, Diddy was in Miami. Was he trying to flee in Miami? And what happened with his plane? I mean, I'll tell you what I think happened with his plane. I think that he put evidence on the plane. All of the tapes, all of the recordings, everything that he wanted to hide from the federal authorities, I think he shoved it onto his private jet and flew his private jet to wherever wherever they were going like and so he's hiding the evidence i think that's what happened with the private jet flight here's the neighborhood i was taken back i was really shocked i mean i, I never i never even expected this to happen i've seen one once a week girls lingering outside i drive by a lot um and i see that a lot of girls maybe five or six girls outside some leaving some not some going in black suburbans never know i never thought anything of it but now this is crazy I mean, so now this is crazy. He's saying there were busloads of women, young girls being brought into the location of Diddy's house. This is apparently footage of Diddy, the rapper, last night at a Miami event wearing what looks like Air Bidens. Did he know he was going to be raided? People are saying, like, this is him looking quite nervous and looking a little upset. Did he know what was going on? On and, and then sitting by himself. 
with what looks like a kombucha. We don't know, ladies and gentlemen. So TMZ apparently filmed Diddy at the Miami airport, so he can't have been on the private jet that apparently flew to LA for, uh, to Antigua. So my guess is they flew a bunch of videos, evidence, maybe assets safely outside of the United States. Diddy's still on the run, but I'm guessing they find him by the time they wake up in the morning. The most important thing to remember here is Diddy was not the top of the chain, the face of the operation. They were likely trying to pin all of this on him and save more important people above him. Our job is not to let them win. So this is the path of the plane. Why did the plane take off right as the rays were happening? That's the question. The plane took off and the rapper wasn't on the plane. Other rappers are beginning to sound off, certainly rappers that knew Diddy. Little Wayne is saying the devil will attack you through the people you thought had your back. He just posted this yesterday. What does this mean? Uh, 50 Cent is saying, now it's not Diddy do it, it's Diddy done. They don't come like this unless they got a case. That's exactly right. They would never go after a celebrity like this unless they really had something bad on them. Many people on social media saying, Diddy tried to warn us that this would end, how this would end in 97 with a music video of uh, black, what looks like black police cars or federal agents chasing his private jet, which is exactly what happened. There you go. Yeah. Uh, somebody knew exactly how this was end. It would end. It would be Cat Williams. Cat Williams was straight up predicting exactly what was going to happen. In 2024, it's really creepy to go back and watch some of these videos. Some people really nailed it. I mean, nailed it. It's God's side and the other side. And we don't care nothing about the other side. Period. Period. All of these uh, big deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. T.G. Jakes, any of them. The, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, and, and anyone who takes that the wrong way know why they take it the wrong way. The truth is the light. I need to have no more of these. Amen, amen. Gee. <laughs> okay, well, that seems like a pretty Pretty stunning revelation there. Nothing's going to happen. Like, no one will be saved in 2024. It's all going to come to light. Oh, uh, yikes. Okay. So, what's the deal here? Is he arrested? I mean, it doesn't look like he's arrested. It looks like he's detained. TMZ has the first video. Uh, check out the footage we obtained. Shot around 3 p.m. on Monday, a couple of hours after the raids on his home got underway. Miami Opa Laka Executive Airport, where eyewitnesses tell us that Diddy and some other people got stopped by the feds. We're told the show's Diddy pacing around outside customs office at the airport. And as you can see, he's not being detained. He certainly doesn't seem to be in custody here. Instead, Diddy's just walking around by his lonesome. An eyewitness tells us that Diddy was waiting on other people in his party who had stopped and questioned by the feds during the whole ordeal. We haven't been able to confirm who he was rolling with yet. All we know is that he, his crew got stopped at Opelaka, where he was told to appear, uh, appeared to be on board a separate private jet, and then Homeland Security rolled up on him. Might seem strange that Diddy isn't cuffed. It actually tracks with what we've heard about the situation so far, namely sources with direct knowledge tell us that he's not under arrest at this point. More importantly, he isn't on the run either. What's going to happen next? What's going to happen next? And what was on this flight? What was on this plane? This is the most important question. What the hell was on this plane, ladies and gentlemen? This has much broader, larger implications. Obviously, um, there's a lot of there's a lot of speculation as to what's going on here. We're going to give you the hard evidence, the best that we can, um, and let you know that we think that a lot of these people in the entertainment space and the Hollywood space are total predators, creeps, and demons, and quite frankly. And they have no concern. The elites have no concern for human life. And they hate the people who live in this country with them. And they engage in monstrous activities. I mean, we've obviously proven that. Just all you need to do is look at the Epstein documents. And you can see exactly how these elite rings operate. People are saying that P. Diddy is the Jeffrey Epstein of the music industry, 
and the recording industry, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see we'll see how it plays out. Clearly a very clearly a very evil person and very fascinating story here. Uh, it's your boy Benny. Like, share, subscribe for more updates. See ya.